Well, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am your girl, Color Me Bad Lynn. At least that is who and what I go by over here on YouTube. So happy to meet your acquaintance, even if you have seen videos and recordings prior to this one. Just to give you a little bit of a brief scenario about what we do over here at Color Me Bad Nation, we talk about fragrances. Fragrances in my collection, on my wish list, and your collection, your wish list, those that we would like to get. Wish list, you got me. All Things Beauty, hashtag All Things Beauty. And today I wanted to pop on and share some of my October empties. Um, I don't believe I've done an empties recording in a while, and I wanted to pop on and share some of the products that I used up in the month of October and what I love about them or no. All right, so let's go ahead and get off into it. I'm going to start with products that I really can't read the notes on because I have no idea what's in them outside of what I think going off of my general knowledge. So let's get into it. I have a couple of oils that I've used up and I didn't just use them up in the month of October, but I finished them out in October. Um, and I think these are two oils that I actually use, not only uh, mixing them with my moisturizers and my body creams, but I believe I also use these particular oils in my diffuser uh, for fragrance throughout the home. Um, and so I really love these. You can, some people like to burn these oils. Um, I don't because in my opinion, they create a lot of smoke. Um, there are other oils that I recommend using if you like to burn your oils. Um, and I'll share some of those with you, hopefully before the year is out of oils that I love to burn. All right, so let's get into it. The first oil that I used up uh, that's an empty, there's like a little bit of a drip drop left of this one. And this one is called Bump and Grind. Hopefully you can see that. And if you're familiar with my recordings, uh, for whatever reason, the tool that I use flips everything the opposite direction. So everything you see that has words, they're all, you know, you got to read them backwards. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, this is one of the oils that I really, really enjoy. I think I've shared on a couple of recordings that these are oils that you can actually find um, in your local beauty supply stores. Um, you can find these in your local smoke shops in your area if you have any. And those are like little stores where you can purchase incense and things of that nature. So this is my first empty I wanted to share with you guys. Bump and Grind Body Oil. Okay, next up on the list of products that I used up in the month of October. Now, I didn't start using them in October and finish them out in October, so I don't want you to think I'm crazy. What did you do with all that oil, lotion, cream, whatever? Um, I These are finished up. So these are finished up in the month of October. Empties. So this one is Black Love, you guys. And again, this is another body oil. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer so you can see it a little bit better. This is another oil that you can find, um, you know, in your local um, beauty supply store. Again, smoke shops, beauty supply stores. Um, you can find these if you still have flea markets in your area, places like that. Get you some. So just in case you can hear my music in the background, I am playing, I think... My playlist is Kenny Babyface Edmonds. Babyface, yeah, you, you'll hear me play a lot of his music. I'm just, you know, this, this, it's an easy reach, easy go to, you know, like your favorite fragrances. I, you know, you can just play his music and you don't have to skip any songs. So, you know, and I'll make sure that I share a photograph, at least one of one of his album covers at the end of this recording just in case you're not familiar. All right, next on the list of things that are empties in my collection or things that I finished off in the month of October. When I tell you all, this is addictive. I got this one and I got a fragrance called Leaves. When I grab this, and normally I don't come on and show y'all my bottles out my shower, my bathroom. Cause you know, once they in the bathroom, it's kind of personal. Listen. I, listen to me when I tell you that this is beautiful from beginning to end 
And this smells so delicious that I love adding this or combining this, cocktailing this with every body wash I have, body scrub. Uh, my favorite cocktail of this, this one is, I'm sorry, this is Bath & Body Works Black Cherry Merlot Shower Gel. If you love the note of cherry or if you love the note of black cher cherry um, and you don't mind a little bit of a boozy note in there, you really can't tell. This is everything. Definitely going to re-up on this one when I go and, you know, pick up things that I need. If I When I start running low, I may go and add, add this one. I may order this before that time hits. This is so beautiful. It goes with any body cream, any lotion you have. Um, if you're wearing a beautiful berry fragrance, it's, it is beyond perfect. I mean, like, I cannot express to you. And I haven't had this long, okay? So I probably get purchased this. This might have been an October purchase, you guys. Might have been. Maybe like the middle or end of September. This did not stay long at all. And it's been empty for a minute. I held on to the packaging so I wouldn't forget how much I loved it. Because if you're anything like me, you know, scents come and go, especially stuff like this. And, you know, like when you get to order when there are sales at Bath & Body Works or the body shop, sometimes I forget the ones that I fell in love with. And so I'll hold on to some of my empty packaging so that when the time comes for me to repurchase, I'll remember what I fell in love with and I really, really like. Because sometimes you'll end up like right now I've got one in my shower that I am not feeling, y'all. I'm going to come on and talk to you about it. I'm just not, I'm just don't care for it. It doesn't, like when I do use it, because it has a really good set up, I, so I'll mix it with something I really like. Um, I have to cocktail it with something, you know what I mean? But it gives a beautiful scrub down and it's really, really powerful with the cleanse. So I like that part about it. And it is a Bath & Body Works shower gel. It's the first time that I've ever purchased a Bath & Body Work, not this one, but the first time I've ever purchased a Bath & Body Work since shower gel or lotion that I did not care for and I'm gonna come on and talk to you all about it because it doesn't have the notes on the back and I grabbed it because I love the packaging and I was like you know I'm never going wrong but I'm going to come on and share that but anyway if you don't have black cherry merlot shower gel lotion body cream body mist the perfume that comes with this and you love cherries black cherries get you some this lasts all day long you guys I think like one day you know on one of my off days or something i didn't put on any fragrance i scrubbed down in this you know you take your shower in the morning and i went for a nice little hike and i could smell this all while i was walking when i got back home um you know i could smell this until i took another shower you guys and i didn't put on any fragrance that day or anything like that super super good beautiful beautiful scent i highly recommend if you've never put your nose on this one black cherry merlot bath and body works get you some empty all right so this is a true um this is showing my truths about where my love for fragrances kind of kind of became like not an addiction but a somewhat of a gotta have it type of little syndrome is back in the day when i worked in the cosmetic department you guys and here's proof. The first fragrance that I um, uh, emptied out this month, got to give me another bottle. This one is Beautiful Belle by Estee Lauder. If you like any type of a rouge fragrance, beloved, get you some. It is beyond gorgeous. Like when I spray out, and it took me a while to get through this bottle, trust and believe and not only is the bottle gorgeous, honey, look at this. It's so pretty, y'all. I love Estee Lauder fragrances, right? So, um, from begin, every time I spray out on this and spray it on myself, I'm like, you know, and you, I have to look back, like, I, you know, like, why don't I wear this more often? It smells super, super good. Compliments galore. And it's one of those fragrances, like if someone asks you what you're wearing, I always forget I, what I have on. Because sometimes I'll cocktail my fragrances and wear more than one frag. You guys know the deal. And But this is gorgeous from beginning to end. If you don't have this one, all of the Belle fragrances, uh, beautiful fragrances, the flankers are beautiful. 
absolutely gorgeous and i didn't know what to expect when i grabbed this but i should have known i was gonna love it because when i was younger oddly enough when they came out with beautiful by estee lauder i loved that fragrance so i should have known beautiful bell by estee lauder get you some all right so for all of my martin lawrence fans i don't know if you guys remember um the episode where him and G he and gina they went to a, i think they had like a destination wedding or whatever and they got married and he surprised her with baby face singing the wedding and the song was you are so beautiful to me but well, that's what's playing right now you know so i saw i was having a moment not a high flash moment just a moment all right <laughs> all right he sang that song you hear me all right so modern muse la rouge by estee lauder um you have to excuse how the bottle looks i've had this for a long time a long time and I normally try to keep my bottles pretty pristine, but you know, listen, when I tell you that this is gorgeous, just as gorgeous as the last one that I just shared with you guys, uh, and I think this is one of the fragrances, if you guys have ever heard the story about a lady that I met in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, this was back during the pandemic, like when things first started opening back up and I was bumming around um in the home goods department of tj maxx or marshall's i can't remember which one i think it was tj maxx because you know in some little strip malls or some little plazas they're connected to each other and so i can't remember which one it was but anywho and this lady walked up to me and asked me what fragrance i was wearing and we start talking long and short her husband works for a distributor for Estee Lauder. She has, every, you know, she was telling me how she has, she has all the Estee Lauder fragrances. She can't wear none of them. She went in the bag and brought some stuff out. She was like, here, I, matter of fact, I got some stuff in my bag. I just keep it in my bag, blah, blah, blah. This was one of the scents, y'all. This one is Modern Muse La Rouge. Cause she asked you, we were talking about fragrance. I was telling her, collect fragrances, blah, blah, blah. You know, just a little chit chat. I don't know how we start talking. She stopped me, I told her. She came back with some stuff like this. Good, good. Get you some. All right, we just going to stay in the cosmetic department. You know what I'm talking about back in the day. Famous and boy, now y'all call it Macy's. Lauren Taylor. Dillard's. Saks. Neiman Marcus. All right. Miracle. Lancome. Now, this is my one of my small bottles, y'all. This. Hear me when I tell you. No words. Have a good day. All right, now I cut the list short, y'all. I just came on and wanted, you know, I want to share a few. I wanted to share a few things that I emptied out. My bottles I emptied out in the month of October. What they call it? October empties. Yeah. All right. So the last one that I'm going to share with you guys. Boop, 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 boop. You know I could not do this recording without mentioning K.I.L.E. fragrances, right? Anybody out there love the orgasms? Listen, honey, get you some, all of them. All right, so this one is my favorite. Um, I told y'all that I was going to get the big bottle of this, but she finished this up, honey. Let me tell you something. And yes, I held on to it because you can still smell she. Yes, I call her she. She gets it. She gets it. She understands. She thrives. She excels at everything that she does. She is successful, yet humble. She is charitable and generous. She is beautiful from the inside out. Her name is Love and Burnham Cherry, 48. And you know I got the name wrong, y'all, but you know what I'm talking about. This fragrance is D. Vine. Get you some. And nobody out here smell like hot sauce and ketchup, but a chicken holla back. I wanted to come on and share these today with you guys. I had so much fun doing this. I was like, what am I gonna do? I can't wait until like the middle of November and chat it up about these because we'll be running through other packagings, right? Other fragrances, lotions, body creams, so on and so forth. And the question is, will I be replacing any of those since that I ran through all of them? They were amazing fragrances. Anytime I finish a product, um, other than like shower gel or lotion, if it's a fragrance that I finish, 
it's everything because I got a lot of fragrances that I've had for a long time. Some of the bottles may be older than some of you, honestly speaking. Um, so in order for me to finish a fragrance, it's got to be some good juice. And I'm telling you right now, if you go back and watch the recording and take notes, any of those fragrances that I have mentioned to you, if you love to feel sexy, smell sexy, get you some. And all of those fragrances are pretty much moderately priced. So they won't tap your coin too hard. This is your girl, Color Me Bad Lynn, saying thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate all of your love and support. Um, excuse my manners. I want to thank all of my new subscribers and say hey, hey to all of my existing subscribers. Thank you for your love and your support. We will see you on the next video. Peace.